Alright guys, so uh, today I'm going to be taking apart this uh, rear brake because it's been locking up on me for some reason. I don't know if it's because of the handbrake or if it's because of the wheel cylinders. Um, a lot of these wheel cylinders uh, lock up after a little bit of time just because they're not really built very well. I try to buy German parts but you know sometimes it's difficult. Um, I'm not really sure what this one has in it right now. So we're going to open it up and find out. If it's just uh, the handbrake, then it's probably just something that needs to be greased. Um, or if it's actually the wheel cylinder, I'll probably have to get a new one. But right now it doesn't seem too stuck. Um, but we're going to get in there and we're going to see what it, what's wrong. loosen this nut on the top and tighten the one on the bottom down while holding this with a screwdriver. Yeah, that was definitely my problem. Okay, well, thank God it was nothing major. It was just that this, my um, my e-brake line was just up on top of this, like up inside the spring area, and it was causing it to just kind of tension itself. Actually was a pretty simple fix it was just the um, the e-brake it had the, the spring had popped off and off of its little channel thing and fallen on top of the spring for the brake shoes and somehow gotten underneath them I'm assuming that whenever I would hit the brakes that spring for the brake shoes would open up and get stuck on the other spring for the handbrake all I did was pull the spring for the handbrake back on top of its little slot and tighten it up at the handbrake itself. Made sure that it was tight, put it back together, and we're good. Um, I'm probably gonna have to readjust my brakes, um, but that shouldn't be too difficult. I'm gonna take it for a drive now and see if that's what the problem actually was, but I'm pretty certain that that was the problem. Thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe, like this video if you wanna see more. And I'm thinking about doing some more small videos like this every once in a while. Whenever I have a problem or something, I'm just going to do another video of it. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks.